What do you think about what the king had to say, Captain? I don't know. It was Mua or something, all right. The people that formed the old race, you mean? They sound a bit like this world's take on Adam and Eve, don't they? Yeah, I suppose they do. In a world like this one, where mystical power exists as if it's nothing at all, the existence of gods may not be so strange either. And if you look at it from an Earth perspective, the way that the Mua simply came into being is not much unlike the way we just suddenly appeared in this world. At least that's how people here would see it. True enough, but then again, this is a place where a demon world actually exists, where monsters exist, for that matter. Wouldn't take a major leap of faith to believe that gods exist, too. Well, I've lived on Earth all my life, and I've never run into anything like that. Haha. <laughs> yeah, well, neither have I, really. Well, whenever people in the past encountered something they couldn't understand, they usually labeled it the work of the supernatural. If the event was a good thing, it was the blessings of the gods. If it hurt them, it was the cruel workings of demons and devils. That's right. That's how concepts such as religion and salvation came about. Agreed. Earth was no exception. Medieval Europeans used to tell tales of a monster that blinked into existence with a loud rumbling and burned away everything in his path with a flash of blinding light. Can you guess what that monster really was? What? Lightning. Oh. There's still a staggering amount we don't know about the universe we live in. What did they call it? Symbology? That healing power Millie has? It's a bit astonishing, to be honest. And yet I'm sure there's some way to explain it scientifically. You really don't believe the King, do you, Elia? Can you blame me? Not really, no. If I just accept all these supernatural beings and phenomena at face value, well, I'd feel like I'm betraying myself a little. True. We'd never advance as a civilization if we did that. Besides... Besides what? If you keep telling yourself that everything is a simple matter of fate, you start feeling like life itself is so trite, somehow. Are you talking about your wife, Captain? Yeah. It was a disease with no known cause, Captain. I know it was a terrible loss for you, but there was nothing modern medical science could have done for her. Yeah. But you know, what if it turned out the symbology they have here was all they needed to cure her? I'm sure I'd be kicking myself over it for the rest of my life. Please don't do this to yourself, Captain. Remember the virus that Lazonia unleashed upon Planet Rogue? Millie herself told us that symbology couldn't do a thing to keep it from spreading. <sighs> you can't torture yourself over it your whole life, Captain. But then again, I'm sure telling you that won't help much, will it? This journey's been an interesting one. If we keep it up, I'm sure I'll find the answer soon enough. But now we should hit the sack. All right. Good night, Captain. I'm sorry, Eli.